Welcome to Review Central. This is Asset Reviewer number 4, featuring questions for the Asset Vocabulary subtest. This reviewer is intended for those who are eyeing, or are set to take the Ateneo College entrance exam. There are 10 questions featured on this reviewer. All questions are modeled on actual questions that appeared on previous assets. Now let's begin. Vocabulary question number one. Choose the word or phrase that best keeps the meaning of the original sentence if it is substituted for the underlined word or phrase. In this day and age, people no longer read novels and lengthy articles, they prefer terse summaries of the original text. The underlined word is, terse. A. Concise. B. Visual. C. Precise. D. Imagistic. The correct answer is A. Concise. The sentence suggests a contrast between the past and the present, as suggested by the phrase no longer. We can infer that longer and lengthy are antonyms of terse. Among the choices, concise is the most opposite in meaning with the given clues, and is contextually synonymous with terse. Vocabulary question number 2. Choose the word or phrase that best keeps the meaning of the original sentence if it is substituted for the underlined word or phrase. The concepts of Albert Einstein were abstruse even to some physicists. The underlined word is, abstruse. A. Arcane. B. Accessible. C. Unambiguous. D. Uncomplicated. The correct answer is A. Arcane. We can infer from the sentence that the concepts of Einstein were hard to understand, as the phrase even to some physicists suggests. Accessible means reachable or attainable. Uncomplicated means simple, and unambiguous means explicit. Arcane means understood by few. Among the choices, only arcane is the possible answer. Vocabulary question number 3. Choose the word or phrase that best keeps the meaning of the original sentence if it is substituted for the underlined word or phrase. The unfortunate majority who can eat barely three times a day have little room in their time to think about things other than survival, whereas the privileged few have capacious room in their mind to ponder philosophy, arts, and ethics. The underlined word is, capacious. A. Narrow. B. Spacious. C. Flashy. D. Overflowing. The correct answer is B. Spacious. The word whereas, shows contrast between the less fortunate and the privileged ones. We can infer that we are looking for a word that can contrast the idea of little room in their time. Only spacious means expansive or can refer to large capacity. Vocabulary question number 4. Choose the word or phrase that best keeps the meaning of the original sentence if it is substituted for the underlined word or phrase. In Yukio Mishima's The Temple of the Golden Pavilion, Mizoguchi, who had been dreaming about the Golden Pavilion for so long, accepted with great gusto the offer of working there. The underlined word is, gusto. A. Energy. B. Dismay. C. Hesitation. D. Skepticism. The correct answer is A. Energy. Since the appositive tells us that Mizuguchi's dream is to be in the Golden Pavilion, his receiving an offer to work in the said setting is an opportunity that he should not miss and must be excited about. Among the choices, only energy connotes enthusiasm. Vocabulary question number 5. Choose the word or phrase that best keeps the meaning of the original sentence if it is substituted for the underlined word or phrase. Having come from a different culture cannot extenuate the vulgar and sexist remarks of the president, in fact he must be held more accountable for his words than a random man in the street who overflows with profanities, for he is a public figure regarded highly by most young Filipinos. The underlined word is, extenuate. A. Imply. B. Excuse. C. Tolerate. D. Authorize. The correct answer is B, excuse. To put it simply, one's background is not an exception for the use of vulgar and sexist remarks. 
only excuse as the possible answer since extenuate is synonymous to the word excuse. Vocabulary question number six. Choose the word or phrase that best keeps the meaning of the original sentence if it is substituted for the underlined word or phrase. Taking advantage of Filipinos' anger toward the previous administration, the incumbent president, who is an excellent demagogue, frequently highlights in his speeches the mistakes of the erstwhile president to gain further support from his constituents. The underlined word is, demagogue. A. Agitator. B. Traitor. C. Speaker. D. Supporter. The correct answer is A. Agitator. Highlighting the mistakes of the previous administration to make the masses in favor of him tells us that the word demagogue has a negative connotation, thus, we can eliminate supporter and speaker since they do not have negative connotations, that is, supporter is positive while speaker is neutral. Between agitator and traitor, we have to settle with the earlier since taking advantage of other people's anger is a form of agitation and not betrayal. Vocabulary question number 7. Choose the word or phrase that best keeps the meaning of the original sentence if it is substituted for the underlined word or phrase. Philippine society is a concoction of more than 170 ethnic groups that have their own language, belief system, and history. The underlined word is, concoction. A. Mixture. B. Collection. C. Inventory. D. Alliance. The correct answer is A. Mixture. Since there are a lot of different ethnic groups in the Philippines, we can then infer that the word concoction means a mixture of diverse groups. Vocabulary question number 8. Choose the word or phrase that best keeps the meaning of the original sentence if it is substituted for the underlined word or phrase. Since there is no native word for surrender in kin or raya, it can be assumed that the aboriginal inhabitants of Panay had no concept of ever capitulating to their enemies. The underlined word is, capitulating. A. Fighting against. B. Submitting to. C. Siding with. D. Giving away. The correct answer is B. Submitting to. Based on the context, we can infer that the words surrender and capitulating are synonymous. Only submitting to and giving away are possible, but we have to go with the former since giving away means something is given for free. Vocabulary question number 9. Choose the word or phrase that best keeps the meaning of the original sentence if it is substituted for the underlined word or phrase. The adulation tendered to the wealthy is often aimed at their purses. The underlined word is, adulation. A. Disapprobation. B. Bias. C. Flack. D. Flattery. The correct answer is D. Flattery. Adulation means excessive admiration or praise. Disapprobation and flack both mean disapproval. Bias means prejudice or partiality. Only flattery is the possible answer. Vocabulary question number 10. Choose the word or phrase that best keeps the meaning of the original sentence if it is substituted for the underlined word or phrase. While extroverts draw their energy from the crowd of people, introverts feel enervated being around strangers for a long period of time. The underlined word is, enervated. A. Restored. B. Revitalized. C. Debilitated. D. Emboldened. The correct answer is C. Debilitated. The word well signals contrast between extroverts and introverts. Since the context tells us that extroverts gain energy from the crowd of people, we can say that the opposite happens for introverts. Only debilitated means weakening or exhausting. You have just completed Asset Reviewer number 4, which featured questions for the Asset Vocabulary subtest. If you wish to watch more Asset Reviewers for the Asset Vocabulary subtest, check out our Asset Vocabulary Reviewers playlist. Check out also our other Asset playlists for other reviewer topics. If you haven't done so yet, 
Please don't forget to subscribe to Review Central and click or press the bell button to make sure you get notified whenever we post a new reviewer or other review materials on this channel. Please like if you find this video useful and feel free to share to anyone who may also benefit from it. We wish you all the best on your forthcoming asset and we look forward to your exciting days as a true blue Adenian.